Hi there, uh, this is Wes uh, for the creation of a song part two. And if you're tuning into this, you probably put the 2995 into your computer drive. And at this point, you are probably suing me. Now, I've gotten a couple calls about this. Uh, what I didn't realize was that you really couldn't put money into a computer drive and I couldn't really expect to get the money because there's really no way for me to get it. See, I didn't realize that. Uh, so basically, I've had a, a couple unhappy people call me and tell me that their computers are ruined. Um, so that was my mistake. I thought that I could get money by you putting it into that you know, drive just because it looks like you know, the slot's big enough for money. I figured you could put the money in there and I could get it. Um, but not so, not, no, it doesn't work that way. Uh, you actually have to start a PayPal account and do all these different things that, I don't know, they confused me, so I, I really, I really couldn't do it. So, um, they're going to be a free tutorial from now on, which is good news for you. Um, you won't have to pay. I guess you never really did have to pay. I couldn't really make it work that way. Um, so I really do apologize to those people that have ruined their computers, um, uh, problem is it's really a lose-lose situation for you as uh, now you don't really have a uh, working computer and you also lost that $29.95 which would uh, yeah I won't be able to replace that either so you know maybe I'm just a dreamer I just thought the internet would be advanced enough to uh, make that happen but I guess you know <laughs> my heads are my heads just in the clouds I guess so um, you know maybe one day but maybe not now so so since I have no way of getting money from you, this is a free service, but I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart because I, I still want, you know, if, if I really did care about money that much, I wouldn't be doing a part two. I'll tell you that much right now. So uh, right here is the proof is in the pudding uh, that I, I do care about you and your musical endeavors. So uh, without further ado, we should continue on to part two uh, where we last left off. I it was kind of a cliffhanger. That's why I wanted to... I figured I could get the money from you if I did the little cliffhanger of leaving it going and <laughs> seeing what, you know, what would happen. But anyway, <coughs> doesn't matter anymore. So uh, I didn't really get to the point. I said I was I was actually going to make my own drum beats because I said I'm a purist and I really like to create my own things. Um, but at, sometimes you just don't have the time for that um, as a busy, busy musician, producer. Um, you know, you just don't have the time. And especially with a confusing thing like this, like this scares me sometimes. And I can imagine it would scare the everyday uh, Joe. So so instead of using this ultra beat machine, what I decided to do is if you push the R key, and that's the, the key that's in the shape of the R, um, you can pull up a bunch of loops. And uh, what loops are, are loops. So basically, you you can get a loop of any kind of instrument. You can get uh, you know acoustic, you know electric. You can get pianos. You can get guitars and drums, especially. And with drums, it's perfect because you can loop a beat from here to infinity, and um, it will keep the song going, and people will always be interested. And you know it doesn't matter if you keep looping it. I mean, dr drums are supposed to be repetitive. And so there's a ton, uh, just a ton, and it took me a while to sort out which one I really wanted to use for this song because I have a very particular idea in mind for this uh, hip-hop song. So, uh, well, I found this one here. It's called Hip Hop Steady Beat 2. Now, what you do is once you pull that up after, you know, I told you, you push the R-shaped key, uh, you, you click on it, and then we get a sweet, sweet, fat beat. That's the kind of beat I want in this song. I took maybe a couple minutes looking through a lot of these, and this is the one that was the least objectionable. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw this on, and you're going to say, Wes, how do, you, how do you throw something from a computer screen onto another part of a computer screen? I mean, it's not like it's paint. <laughs> on the contrary, it is very much like paint. Just like paint, I can drag and drop it, and it will put itself, and it'll ask me a question. Don't matter. It doesn't mind. I can't speak this morning anyway. Don't. don't don't mind that. So now look, I've painted, I've painted my area with a drum beat. Now it looks a little different, doesn't it? Now before there was nothing. Now there's this. That is drum information. And if I push the Z key, look, it expands, and I can see the whole, all the information of that drum. Now let's. Now if I push the space bar, it will continue to go through the song. Oh, well, first I have to get rid of. I have to push R once more and twice more to get rid of that. Now. If I push the space bar, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh, you know why? 
I just remembered I'm an I'm an idiot. <laughs> Uh, see, this is what's great about music, is you're constantly learning. I forgot, I should be dragging it to this strip here. And uh, it doesn't matter uh, why, just do what I say and uh, you will be fine. So now, I'll get rid of this just by simply pressing delete and delete. <laughs> there we go. And uh, now let's try it again. Okay, so there it is. And uh, it's kind of loud. So what you're going to do is bring up the mixer bring down the volume just a tad because you're not going to be able to hear my voice throughout this tutorial if I keep it up so loud as fat as it is. So now that I have this little paint blotch here, um, how do you loop a loop? It's already a loop. Truthfully, this isn't long enough for my song. And uh, I'm sure you know most songs at least have to go another minute and a half before they end. So how do you loop this? I'll show you. You bring the cursor over top of it as such. And you see, it makes a little curvy loop, little arrow. And when you when you click on that and you bring it to the right, ah, look at that, it expands. And again, I have to use the paint analogy. This is like using a paintbrush over top of a canvas. And uh, I really do feel like um, Michelangelo right now, uh, not the Ninja Turtle, no, the, uh, the painter. Uh, and I'm painting all the way through. Now, I don't know how long my song's gonna be truthfully right now, Usually it'll stop right here, um, but you can always expand it and go further. Um, so that's kind of where we're we're gonna we're gonna leave off there. Uh, I don't want to bore you too much, but that is the start of a beautiful song. And I didn't even have to create this beat; it's already in there. So now you were expecting this to end right about here, but let's let's just play it until it goes past the five mark. Okay, and that was sweet. <laughs> so now we have a great foundation for an amazing hip hop song, and that's gonna come in the next tutorial. So uh, put on your rap caps, boys <laughs> and girls. Uh, we're gonna come back with part three, and uh, don't put any money into your computer. I'm uh, I've, I'm a changed man, and um, I'm not gonna get a PayPal account. <laughs>